Hey YouTube, today we'll be trying out uh, the Windows 10 receiver controller from Microsoft. Um, this allows you to connect your Xbox One controller, like so, using this really cheap feeding receiver um, to your PC. Um, here's a receiver, back to the box it came in, quick as unboxing ever. So, um, yeah, before this receiver came along, um, you'd have to basically connect it to your PC via a really long 3 meter cable. Like this one. Which, you know, this really sucks. Thanks, Microsoft. And so today we're going to play with the Witcher 3 a little bit. Um, I have a monitor set up here, which um, you can see has um, two screens, which we'll be looking at shortly. We'll explain the, the double screening in a minute. Um, so if we just click on resume, um, you see here there is absolutely no lag with the controller. So you see this is completely wireless free due to the new Windows 10 controller. Um, for those of you who kind of said, hey, you know, my PlayStation has been wireless since day one. Yes, you're right, but that's using Bluetooth, which is really bad for um, input lag. Um, as you can see, there's absolutely no input lag here. Um, and really, I can, you know, run around. Um, I would get into a fight, but <clears throat> if you can see my health bar at the moment, that's, that's really low, so I'm not going to. Um, so, why I'm really excited about this, other than having to run a stupidly long cable across the living room, because as you can see, I am in my living room. I don't game on a, you know, on top of a, a desktop or you know, you know, traditional gaming mouse. I do like to have the console experience. Um, so this wireless receiver gives you the console um, experience that you know your Xbox fans get. Um, so finally, because of this receiver, the PC has now fully moved into the living room, as, as you can see, this is what it's all about, in your living room, not your study. Um, so one of the things that I want to do with this is see how this works for um, VR. Um, <clears throat> you can see here I have uh, HMD, this is from Ion Cardboard, and here we have my phone set up, as we can see. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell from that, but you probably at the moment can see the game being streamed here. Normally this would fill up the entire game, the entire um, the game would fill up the entire display, but because we have a very low resolution monitor so you can see what's going on, um, that's not filling up my, my screen. Incidentally, if you can see that, that's a 1080p screen and you can see how much more resolution a phone has compared to the USB monitor. Aside from that. Um, so for this demo, um, I'm just going to put on the 3D headset. Bear in mind, because it is running at so resolution, I'm not really going to be able to see what I'm doing. I'll do another YouTube video at some point um, to show that it, this does actually completely work. Um, so the other thing you may want to do is have a pair of Bluetooth speakers. Uh, <clears throat> actually, these are Bluetooth, so not Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth headphones. So that way, literally, you can game with pretty much just, you know, these to that. That's all you need. Um, so putting this on and putting these on, I can just about see. So obviously, this is quite a big headset. Probably no bigger than the rest of them. <clears throat> and there we go. I can now play the Witcher. Um, and this is why I set the monitor up because. Um, the monitor is there to basically prove that this all completely works wirelessly, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to. Uh... What was that? Hey, let's grab that. Yeah, so at the moment, um, I can't really make out clearly just because the uh, because of the, the differences in the screen resolution, the, uh, the lenses aren't quite right. Uh, but yeah, so you can see, um, you know, I can see some trees over there, and the run towards though. So yeah, so it means you can now completely just sit back and just play anything in the comfort of your home. I mean, you can't do this on an Oculus Rift. Um, you can lie back, you can play anywhere. Um, this, this to me is really good. Uh, and this is what kind of the uh, whole VR and untethered 
is all about. You know, if you just sit back on your sofa with your Xbox receiver. Um, I've not been able to do this uh, up until this week because, you know, you didn't have the Xbox receiver. Uh, bear in mind it will um, use or connect up to eight controllers wirelessly, so you don't need one receiver for every controller. Um, the idea being is that all your mates of Xboxes can uh, come around and you know have a quick game with you. Um, so yeah, at the moment I can't really see where I'm going. You'll be able to see because the monitor is plugged in and it's right in front of the camera. Um, but because the discrepancy in the screen sizes, the headset isn't quite set up in the way I need it to. Um, normally, obviously, you wouldn't have the USB monitor plugged in, but then you wouldn't be able to see what I'm playing. So um, yeah, this just goes to show this this completely works. Um, and you know, you Oculus Rift, PS4 Morpheus, forget it. You will not be able to do this. You'll not be able to sit there in the comfort of your sofa um, and play your you know your next gen PC games. Uh, this is what PC gaming is about. This is what PC gaming has evolved to. Um, yeah, so if anyone says consoles are amazing, you will not be able to do this on a console without having, you know, masses of cabling running around. Um, so if we take this off. Yeah, a little bit heavy, um, but it's, it's well worth the experience. And actually, um, you can probably see it takes me a little while to kind of <clears throat> get back into my environment and kind of realize where I am. Um, but that's because of the, the scale of the immersion that uh, you're playing, you're completely immersed. Um, and I do recommend using the Bluetooth headphones just because it really does add to that kind of immersion. Um, particularly when you have um, 3D surround sound and all the amazing stuff that uh, is going to be coming out soon. Um, so that's kind of really a wrap up of the um, Xbox <coughs> controller receiver. Um, yeah, and that's it really.